right, people, another shift done. Still got my job. <laughs> oh, funny video on YouTube posted about the company. Link will be in the description if you want to check that some bitch out. It's pretty good, pretty good. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go home. All right, people, I'm home. I just wanted to play the old swap the tanks on the uh, freaking Vamo here. Uh, this is the uh, Victory Vision tank. It's not too bad. You know, it puts out a decent amount of vapor for what it is. Uh, currently it has a 2 ohm coil. I have 3.7 volts left in the battery. And I'm running around 10 watts. But before I came home, I decided to go over to Sobeys because I wanted to grab myself something to eat for supper because I didn't have anything at 8 o'clock. Uh, what we got is Whatever the frig's in this container, they'll add, after they shut down the kitchen, they put sides. So that looks like uh, scalped potatoes. Scalped potatoes. I also grabbed this dish, which is rice. So right on, got a side dish of rice. And, oh yeah, Crazy Logie got me onto these drinks called Arnold Palmer's Half and Half. All it is is half iced tea, half lemonade. So I got to thinking today because I friggin' love the Mio Squirt lemonade. This is like my favorite lemonade ever. Sure, it probably contains more chemicals that I can't pronounce than a mother frigger. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah it does. Okay. And then I saw this today. Uh, it's not going to focus. The light's going to block it up. There you go. Iced tea. Yeah, iced friggin' tea. What? Why are you doing that? He's like walking in from there and then standing up on his hind legs, sniffing the air. Am I hearing a noise over here? I just heard scratching behind me. Cats on it in the litter box. Do we have a mouse in the house? I have no idea. She's right there. And she's thinking about climbing on top of the stove. Don't you friggin' dare! I'm gonna have to hide my food. But I am definitely hearing some activity over here. Huh. That's just the, the giant, as they call it. I don't know. Yeah. It has a little, my furnace has a little giant add-on. Basically deals with uh, condensation and all that. But anyway, I was thinking about putting a squirt of each of these in some water and making my own friggin' half and half. Don't know how well that would work, but if it does work, then frig yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, buddy. And of course, I bought myself a great big frickin' hunk of meat to barbecue. So let's get out to the garage, kick up the barbecue, burn some meat, Vape some juice and uh, let's talk about what happened at Sobeys because it's pretty fucked. Alrighty, just fired up the queue. We'll let this get nice and hot. Then we'll throw this dollop of meat onto her. Aw, oh, frig yeah. It's going to be a good night. Yeah, sure enough, so I go to the friggin, uh, the Sobeys after work to go scoop myself up something to eat. I figured sometimes they got pretty good deals on their steaks. I paid seven bucks for that big chunk of meat, so that's not too bad. It's always cheaper at Food Basics, that's for sure. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just brushing off the grill because it's really gross. And, uh, yeah, so I go over there, I grab the uh, Mio's, or not the Mio's, I just call them Mio's. But it's not the brand Mio, so that's not right. And then I grab the steaks. And then I head over to the deli counter and grab the rice and the potatoes. And then I proceed to the cash. What do I find at the cash? Well, there's one family doing their groceries at midnight, like buying everything in the store. There was another family doing pretty much the same. And then there's this other guy who just kept going over and dropping stuff up on the bench and then leaving. And going and then I'm sitting there. And I put down my thing, I put down my items. All of a sudden he comes back and he goes, oh, I got no room. So he's like, oh, he freaks out and he starts like moving my stuff around. I'm like, bro, take it easy. So I grab my stuff and I hold it so he can put more shit on the fucking conveyor belt. Then he runs off again. And I'm like, are you fucking for real? Well, the family that was in front of him was done. He's not nowhere to be seen. So the cashier's like, just come up here and pay for your stuff. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I come up and start paying for me. She rings all my stuff through and she tells me the total. So I'm like, all right. I go to pay her and buddy comes back and goes, bro, what the fuck? And I'm like, whoa, tame her down there. He, take it easy. And he's like, you don't fucking cut in line, man. And he starts like beaking off at me. I'm like, bro, I'm paying. I'm leaving. And he starts like mouthing off at me and like threatening to cut me and shit. And I'm like, are you fucking for real right now, bro? 
Like, I got my cell phone in my hand. I got 9-1, and I'm about to hit fucking, you know, one again and call. Get the caps over there to put Captain Methhead in the fucking pen because he's just right losing it because instead of using a shopping cart like everybody else in the store was doing who was doing their groceries, no, nah, he's just running out with his arms, scooping up as much shit as he can, coming back, plopping on the conveyor belt, running back out like... Like he's doing a damn scavenger hunt, you know, quest for friggin' Warcraft or some nonsense. It was unbelievable. And he starts peeking off at me and threatening to kill me and shit. And I'm like, fuck sakes. Like, honestly, I don't really know what the hell to do about that. Like, you know, if he would have taken a swing at me, I would have swung back. I mean, we would have just slammed it out in the fucking store. But, you know, he, what the hell's going on with people these days, man? I tell you. Oh, man. I'm out of the tasty shit. Well, I guess only one side of the steak is getting seasoned this time around. Boons! Feels weird out here barbecuing without a beer. I know. Meanwhile, I got like the Tower of Molson happening back here. Well, not really a tower, but a pile of Molson, all empty. Many beer have died in this garage. Just noticed on Facebook that uh, uh, VIP E Juices is going to be suspending sales until April 20th due to a Family emergency, I'm not sure exactly what the emergency is or what happened. All I know is what I read on Facebook, so uh, for him to shut down shop, because that's like his business, right, uh, means that something friggin' bad had to happen. So that really blows. Hopefully uh, all is okay in John's neck of the woods. And uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about e-juice myself, because I got a bunch of friggin' 100 mils upstairs and I'm still trying to get working. All the ones from uh, Yellick that taste like fucking Javex. Been uh, power steeping them. And anybody out there who vapes and wants to know how to power steep, it's not too hard. Um, literally all I did was I took the bottle, shook the ever-loving shit out of it, and then brought it over to the tap, turned on the hot water, which means I had to wait for my boiler to be replaced, right? And once that was done, I just ran it under the hot water till the bottle got nice and hot. I guess you can also like, you know, heat up water in the microwave or something and just fucking dunk her in there until she gets nice and lukewarm. And what that does is it causes a separation effect of separation of flavoring and nicotine and the PGVG. Then once you're done doing that, you shake the living shit out of it again so it all blends together. Then you pop the cap off for one hour only. Take the cap off for one hour, let it breathe. And uh, it should get all the bad shit out of it. All that nasty, well, got all the nasty smells out of the saver's blood, that's for sure. And um, I think it may have lowered the nicotine content too, because it's really weak sauce. And uh, flavoring didn't take that much of a hit though. I was kind of surprised. I thought the flavoring was going to take a huge hit and, you know, shit the bed. But it didn't. So, bonus! Anyway, um, friggin' uh, after you're done doing all that nonsense, you just cap it, put it in a closet for, for two days, somewhere dark and, and semi cool out of the sunlight. Let it fester in there for two days, and then give her a go, and it should taste a hell of a lot friggin' better. Now, John's juice from VIP, that stuff pre-steeped, so it's ready to rock the moment it comes out of the mail. You're good to go. But Yellick, not so much. I won't be ordering from there anymore. But I found another site that I'm going to try out, so that'll be all right. Um, I should be good now until, like, fucking June for juices. But I'm going to want to buy some extras just to bring with me to Lokes for Métifer. If I go down. If I can go down. But, uh... I'm trying to go down from A24, no promises. Chances are I won't be able to do it because a lot of people have time off then. And I'm probably gonna get sucked into work on the Monday overtime. But if it happens, so let it be. It shall be done. Skilly douche. Oh, friggin' rights, we're done cooking people. All done, ready for dinden. All done, ready for dinden. All done, ready for dinden. All done, ready for dinden, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner. I'm gonna have to grab some more water because I got no drink. Son of a bitch. I should grab a cup of water and try that fucking half and half. Mm. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm gonna fill this up with water and grab another container of water and make a half and half. Oh, let's see if it tastes as good as Arnold Palmer's son of a bitch of shit. Alrighty, I got a sippy cup here with some agua into it. And it's one of these uh, double barreled fucking city landscape son of a bitches. Go ahead and squirt some lemonade into there. Yeah. Get it looking all lemony fresh. If this works out, I'm bringing this to work. Because I can have Ar Arnold Palmer's whenever I want. And we'll throw some iced tea into the mix. Yeah, buddy. Now we'll give it the old spoon stir. And let's see how it vapes. Wait, we're not going to vape it. We're just going to drink it. Apologize. All righty, people. 
homemade Ar Arnold Palmer's half and half. Let's see how it is. Oh my god, that's fucking delicious. That's just as good, if not better, than the real thing. So, um, yeah. You don't need to use the Mio shit either, probably. You can probably go buy the cheap no-name friggin' iced, lim uh, iced tea uh, powder and the iced, uh, or the lemonade powder and just fucking mix her in and give her, you know? Why is my hat on the ground? Fucking cat. Jesus, she knocks everything over. She's such a little bitch. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and eat, drink my Arnold Palmer, I got some water, Frigia, and um, I'm gonna call her quits for now. Yeah, might vlog again tomorrow, might not. We'll see how she goes, if I have anything to talk about. If I don't, fuck it. Anyway, people, on that note, if you like today's video, click that like button. Because you know me, I love it when you click the like button. Yeah! Questions, comments, concerns, stove them down below, because that's where they go, yo. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.